Thank you for joining with us on this centennial festival of Thanksgiving. For those of you who are guests tonight, this is our Thanksgiving time of worship and celebration. Some of you from your local churches gather on Thanksgiving morning and some of you on Thanksgiving Eve on a Wednesday evening. Each of us has our own wonderful family ambiance. And part of our family tradition is a Sunday evening to prepare for the entire week and to set our focus on God's provisions within our lives. You'll see in the beautiful program that you have, this is an evening of psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. If you'll open the program to the first panel, we are ready to begin our prelude. And as we begin the prelude, or as we begin in just a moment, I'd like to ask you to help us. We have a, a number of cars yet still trying to get off the freeway and into parking. And as you can sense, we are filling up in the worship center. So if there's any room and possible, if you could move to the center of the worship center, if you could slide your rows a little bit farther and have a space for one more person or maybe two more people, the ushers will be indebted to you through the rest of the evening if you could help them. So would you slide toward the center of the worship center, which will allow the ushers to seat those that are still trying to find their place. Thank you so very, very much. Now, friends, if I can have your attention, we'd like to allow each moment of tonight to be very meaningful. And most of you are unable to see them, but many of you can. We have 100 bell ringers up in the balcony. They each have from six to eight bells, so close to 600 to 800 bells tonight. It's an absolute first for us on this, our centennial. You see a number of the choirs which are here. We'll have over a thousand people when all the choirs are in place. And so we thank especially the choirs who have come to us from Middle California, Northern California, and many right here in Southern California. And if you've come along as a, a guest or a mate or a spouse or a friend of those choirs, we thank you for joining with us. You're a special gift to us tonight. So we'd like to ask that you would just relax for a moment Allow God's Spirit to settle us down from a busy day and a busy week. Allow the prelude to be something that we don't talk through, but allow the bells to lead us in a special remembrance of how great God is. Some of you have come tonight with some very deep problems, from employment to family to marriage, to issues of your finances, and we want to remind ourselves tonight that God is good. And God knows and God cares even when things seem to fall, or fall apart around us. Tonight our focus is on God. Even though it's Lake Avenue Centennial, we want honor to go to God. And so as the bells remind us of that sense of assurance that we have because of Jesus Christ and how great God is, then allow the organ to remind us in a very deep way of the glorious things about God. And then we'll end the prelude with that sense of a wonderful, we thank God for who he is. So as we focus our attention, let it be to God. Remember this, this evening, friends, God is the audience. Whether you're in the pew or in the choir or in the balcony or with the bells, God is the audience. So would you just allow a moment of quiet and focus as the prelude begins, led by our bells in worshiping the awesomeness of the God that we've come to say, we give thanks. Allow the prelude to set a tone for tonight. Thank you.